Hello and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Judith. Today we're making a lovely creamy cauliflower soup. To start with, we have a warm pan, which we've put some chopped bacon in. And I use low salt bacon, low sodium. And we've got the pan warm, not hot, because what we want to do is render the fat. And once the fat is rendered, we are going to add some lovely thinly sliced leeks. And it's mostly just the white part. We don't want a whole lot of the green because that would color our soup. So we're going to wait for the fat to render and when I return we will add the leeks and get everything going. Alright, the fat has been rendered out and as you can see the bacon is starting to cook so now we want to add the leeks. down. If your bacon isn't real fatty, you can add some oil or butter. Actually, butter would be the better choice for this. Now we just want to soften the leeks somewhat. But we don't want things to get too greasy, so it doesn't take a lot of the fat to cook the leeks in. If it's not looking dry, I wouldn't add. Alright, so that's had about five minutes and the leeks are nice and soft. Now we're going to add chopped up about half a head of a medium sized cauliflower. Right in there. Add a cup of chicken stock. And then, because we don't want chicken to be the major flavor, we are going to thin that with enough water to not quite cover. And we're going to put the lid on, increase the temperature so it starts to boil, and then let it boil gently until the cauliflower is soft. Alright, now that it's been boiling for a little while, I'm going to check it and see if our cauliflower is soft. And indeed it is. So we are going to turn the heat off and let it cool a little bit because we don't want to be burning ourselves when we do the next step which is to blend it. If you don't have an immersion blender then you can put it in a um, regular blender but still very carefully because you don't want to hurt yourself and it will be hot. That is why we're going to let it cool for a little bit before we go on to that. All right, now we've blended the soup with our immersion blender, and it's lovely and creamy as you can see. But it's still got a few lumps in it, which is fine. And everyone wants some texture in there. What we're going to do next is add that's about not quite a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Stir that in. That will help thicken it because we are going to still add some milk to it. We'll just stir that in, let it all melt. And depending on how thick or thin you want the soup, generally want it fairly thick. That will determine how much milk you're going to put in. And remember with the cheese in there it will still thicken more. Okay. At this stage you could serve it with a nice garnish of some crispy fried bacon, maybe some fried cauliflower. But we're going to set it aside and when we're going to serve it we'll just rewarm it. Okay, soup is done. Garnished with some crispy bacon and fried cauliflower florets and served with some nice fresh bread. This is a soup that deserves getting out the good china for. 
thank you so much for watching enjoy drop a like subscribe and I'll be back with you soon <laughs>